Hey everybody, how's it going? It's time to take a look at another exclusive series. Uh, for this one, we'll take a look at the car that's currently featured in the Roundhub in limited series format. Of course, we're talking about Chevy Corvette C6R GT2, the car that uh, has been sort of ported over from Real Racing 2 for their 10th year anniversary uh, a couple of years ago. Um, but uh, anyway, so let's go to my garage where we can find the car and mine is of course fully upgraded. Now, if you don't own this car, um, if you want to own it, you will have, you, you know, currently there is a limited series. Uh, so by spending some uh, 326 gold, you will be able to meet the PR requirement to win the car first and then you will have to spend another um, 170 gold to fully uh, max it out to have access to this limited or exclusive series and the uh, exclusive series will pay out whopping 75 gold I know which is not much after you know what you invest into the car to meet the PR requirement but you know what there are exclusive series with uh, worse returns. So, um, anyway, let's go visit the series itself and check out what we can expect here. So, all right. Chevy Corvette C6R GT2, a real racing icon from America, set the benchmark for GT racing in the early 2010s. All right. So... It is going to be a 20 tier exclusive series featuring three um, time trials uh, tier 5 at Laguna Seca, tier 10 at Suzuka East, and the th third one, tier 10 at Hockenheim Grand Prix. And uh, here's the breakdown of the completion rewards broken down into the 25% completion increment. So the majority of the payout, as always, is towards the end. And uh, yeah, every tier, of course, has a cup event aside from the time trial tier. So there are 17 tiers of, or 17 cup races. And then this one is pretty heavy on uh, speed snap, drag race, and autocross. So we got... Uh, seven speed snaps and six drag races and six autocrosses so uh let's uh let's take a quick look at this um how to quickly earn the rewards right so in order to claim the first 25 percent completion in this exclusive series you need to complete 14 events so that could be uh, three time trials plus 11 gold trophies or really any combination or just 14 gold trophies all together right so obviously if you complete all drag races and all eliminations or not elimination uh autocrosses that brings you up to 12 already right and then you complete speed snaps that's seven more so that's 19 so you're way above 25% completion. I mean, given it only pays out five gold, but hey, that's a step towards the next completion tier. See what I mean? So, um, strategy wise, um, how to get the most out of these exclusive series? I normally would try to get the, these short events done first, you know, if I'm not making a video about the series going by tier by tier. But uh, that's uh, one way to uh, approach it. And then let's see. Uh, then there are s four eliminations and four hunters. So those are the next um, common types of events that you're going to encounter in this series. And there are three head-to-heads. And we're kind of low on speed record and... Uh, Endurance. There are only two endurances and only two speed records in this series. So, uh, just going 
through the series by, I guess, uh, event type, uh, alphabetic order. Let's start with those six autocrosses. The first one you will find in tier two, uh, taking place at Mount Panorama. So that's the, you know, start at the bottom of the hill. You uh, finish right after the forest elbow, right? So with this car, I expect target time around maybe about a minute, 50 seconds to a minute, somewhere in that range. Anyway, pretty short event is what I'm trying to say. And the next instance you'll encounter autocross is in tier four. Uh, this one's gonna be at Catalunya Grand Prix, which also isn't terribly long. I think it might be even shorter. And then tier eight is the third instance of autocross. This one taking place at Spa. Of course, that's a fairly short one. You just have to uh, maneuver through Le Con and Brussels, right? Uh, and then uh, tier 11 is the next instance of it taking place at Catalunya National. So another one at Catalunya. Both are, if I remember correctly, fairly short. And then the fifth instance you can find in tier 13 taking place at Bugatti Circuit. And uh, yeah, it's autocross. And then tier 16 is the last one taking place at Dubai Grand Prix. So those are your six autocrosses. And then uh, next, let's go uh, check out drag races, which starts the series actually in tier one. We got one uh, first one at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. It's a drag race. And the next venue, tier three, uh, Porsche Test Track, of course, long on-road circuit. And then the third instance of it, you'll find in tier six, this one taking place at Dubai Grand Prix Circuit. And then the fourth one is not far away, tier eight. This one at Daytona Speedway. And then um, next one is gonna be in tier 14, taking place at the other American uh, NASCAR circuit, the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This one at road course. Not that it really matters. You know, we're just going the opposite direction, right? <laughs> And then the last drag race at Tier 14, taking place at uh, Red Bull Ring Grand Prix Circuit. All right, so, and yeah, Red Bull Ring, the, it's got a little bit of an uphill towards the end, right? Because it takes place at the main pit straight, and, uh, but still, I don't know if it really would make that much of a difference. So anyway, those are your six drag races. And next, eliminations. We got four of them. Uh, the first instance, you'll find it in Tier 3. And uh, it's another, you know, this is a timed event, right? So uh, type of event, the venue, I feel like doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, so this one takes place at Dubai International Circuit. And then next one is going to be in Tier 7. This one taking place at Catalunya Grand Prix. And the third one is going to be in Tier 11. This one taking place at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. And then the last elimination of the series is in Tier 19, taking place at Dubai Grand Prix Circuit. All right, two endurances. We got the first one, the series opener kind of a deal here, taking place at Suzuka East. And then the, the other endurance you'll find kind of halfway into the series, Tier 12. Um, taking place at Dubai National. So those are the two endurances. All right, now next we got head to head. We got three of them. First one taking place, uh, well, you'll find it in tier nine. This one taking place at Hokenheim Grand Prix Circuit. Just a, as you would expect, a single lapper. And the next one, the second head to head, you'll find in tier 17, taking place at Laguna Seca, also a single lap circuit. Uh, to head and then the last head to head is going to be in the final tier tier 20 taking place at mount panorama another single lap head to head all right then the next uh the other h uh <laughs> series right the hunter all right we got four of those starting with the first one in tier six 
this one at the speedway section, actually speedway section of uh, the brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So hopefully people didn't do any goofy like pushing the Sylvia backwards uh, and get some ridiculous distance to win by because that's just a pain, you know. So please don't do that. It's just annoying. <laughs> Anyway, next one, tier 13, taking place at Hockenheim National. All right. Yeah, if you can avoid pitting Sylvia in Hunter, let's let's stick to that. It's, uh, you know, yeah, it's less frustrating. <laughs> On occasion, I have to crash just because when I do several tries of doing it like near perfect runs and you're still like you know like far away from the target of hitting the first place you know the other guy whoever set the first place did crash the sylvia and you know sort of you know got the distance that they needed to get so if we can avoid having to put up with something like that uh as collective whole i think that'll be good uh, I think it'll make the game a lot more enjoyable <laughs> for most of us. Anyway, the tier 18 is the third uh, instance of the Hunter. This one taking place in Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. And the last one is in tier 20, the last tier, taking place at Catalonia National Circuit. All right. And then on to the two speed events. Okay, first one is going to be the speed snap, since that is... Uh, Actually, let's go with a speed record first. Yeah, R comes before S, right? <laughs> and tier 16 is where you see the first one. I know, pretty deep into the series, right? Not that it really matters because exclusive series, you can bounce around. So this one taking place at Bugatti Circuit, uh, full lap, right? And then the other speed record is going to be in tier 19, taking place at the road course um, layout of the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And now the final series, or not series, the final types of events, Speed Snap. We got seven of those. All right, starting in tier two. This one at Spa. So that one uh, at, uh, yeah, that one starts at the exit of Lecon. So it's the combination of Brussels and the no name corner, right? So that's that. And next instance, tier four, taking place at Hockenheim Grand Prix. And the next one, tier seven, taking place at Hockenheim National. So we're covering uh, a lot of Hockenheim here. And then maybe we'll get a short, no, I don't think so. But we're still in Germany. Tier 9, we got the Hockenheim, uh, not Hockenheim, uh, Speed Snap at Nürburgring Grand Prix. And uh, Tier, let's see, 12 is the next instance. This one taking place at Laguna Seca. And Tier 14 is the next one taking place at Circuit of the Americas, uh, National Circuit. And then final, the 7th. Speed Snap takes place uh, in, you'll find it in Tier 17. And this one takes place at uh, Porsche Test Track, the Leipzig Circuit, Long On Road Circuit. All right, so those cover all the variety events, right? And then now we can go through every uh, cup race. We'll just start from Tier 1 and see the how long these races or each tier is gonna turn out to be so starting in tier one we got the nurburgring sprint circuit cup with three laps all right so that's a fairly you know i would call that short race and then tier two we got silverstone international cup four laps so that i would say is comparable so far and then tier three, we got a cup at Melbourne, eight laps. So that one's going to be a bit more extensive. And tier four, we got cup at Suzuka West. And this one's going to be a six lap cup. So, all right, 
Not, I mean, the west circuit isn't terribly long. It's longer than east, but, you know, not too bad. And then tier six, we got Cup S Silverstone National, nine laps. So these are kind of a medium length circuits with high lap counts, which can be, you know, pretty exciting. Um, since depending on your opponents. If you're racing against mostly flag bots, uh, I have a feeling you're bound to come across some lapping traffic towards the midway through the race, right? Uh, tier seven, another kind of medium length circuit, circuit of the America's national circuit, and it's gonna be a seven lapper. So yeah, kind of see the trend here, right? And then tier eight is gonna be at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix, and seven laps around Grand Prix circuit is a decent length. I mean, Red Bull Ring Grand Prix is fairly short, but it's still, you know, a Grand Prix circuit, so decent length there. And then, speaking of decent length race, Tier 9, we got a cup at the 24-hour uh, Le Mans circuit. And this one's going to be a four-lapper, so you can expect to spend a bit of time racing this car at uh, the 24-hour circuit. This far, so far, by far, this is going to be the longest race that you're gonna have to do in this series. Um, yeah, I, I cannot think of any other race that's gonna be longer. Four laps at 24 hour circuit, that's long. Anyway, also, but it should pay out decent amount as well. Moving on, uh, tier 11, we get the cup at the long on-road circuit of Porsche uh, test track, and it's gonna be a 10 lapper. So now we're into double digit lap count. And tier 12, we got Nürburgring Grand Prix Cup, and this one's going to be 8 lapper. So pretty decent length race we're finding in this kind of second half of this series, right? So tier 13, we got Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix Circuit, and this is going to be an 8 lapper. So that's still pretty lengthy cup. And then tier 14, we got a cup at Mount Panorama. It's a pretty lengthy circuit. Seven laps, not quite as long as let's say Le Mans 24 hour circuit, but you know, aside from that, it's one of the longest one, right? Along with Spa. And then tier 16, we got Suzuka Grand Prix Cup, and that's gonna be nine lappers. So these are, you know, pretty decent length cup we got towards the, yeah, this half of the event or series. Tier 17, we got another cup, this one at uh, another Grand Prix Circuit Cup, this one at Circuit of the Americas, 10 laps. So yeah, got some long races. And Tier 18, we got cup at Monza Road Course and 9 lapper. All right, not as long as 10 lap cup at Suzuka Grand Prix, but yeah, that's pretty good. And then Tier 19, uh, we got Cup at Spa, eight laps. So that's also a very good length race. And the final cup, final tier cup is taking place at Daytona Road Course. And that's gonna be a 10 lapper. So some lengthy races we got in this uh, series. You know, nothing terribly short. You know, even the shortest races that we've seen in this series is like medium length circuits with the high lap counts and then uh in terms of lap count wise it seems like it doesn't really lend towards the second half of the cir uh, series it just we just go to the longer circuits so anyway um yeah so that uh about does it for the the overview of this series and uh if you get a chance to take advantage of that 24 hours of instant uh, service and instant upgrade offer from winning a first gold trophy in the currently running limited series, then you know that kind of eliminates having to service the car every tier. So that might be something that you can take advantage of because you know 24 hours. It's nicer than three hour instant service offer we get for new cars, right? So, so yeah, so there you go. And uh, the car is featured in a bonus series, another bonus series. That one you don't need to obviously fully upgrade called Real Racing Redux. You'll find it in Masters section of the game. And uh, I already have posted the sort of the playthrough 
partially because I'm not done with that series yet, but uh, you can find the playlist uh, in the description box below. So if you're interested, check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.